most difficult things in ballet is to smile while your toes are bleeding. <laughs> Ballet is supposed to look effortless, so some people might mistake it for easy, but it's actually one of the hardest art forms out there. <laughs> My name is Eliana Vahai Feao, and this is why I'm fresh out the box. I'm 16 years old, and now I'm a freshman in college. My dream was to be um, an Olympian gymnast, but I got osteochondritis when I was 11 years old in both of my elbows, so I had to stop. I was really heartbroken at first, but it was actually my mom's idea to put me in ballet. And at first I was like, ballet? <laughs> really? So I see you Well, I'm one of the first Tongans to be doing what I'm doing. I don't really know of many other uh, Tongan classically trained ballet dancers, so every ballet studio I go to, I'm the only Tongan ballet dancer there. <laughs> A lot of my fellow ballet classmates don't really know about Tonga or uh, the Pacific Islands at all, so it's interesting, like, being the only one. When I was 13, I went to dance at the King of Tonga's coronation, and that was the most amazing experience of my life. That was my first time ever going to Tonga, and that was a mind-blowing experience for me. I never learned how to do the Tonga. That's definitely on the top of my list. It's hard to be an American Pacific Islander. If your family is not close by, you're not able to access the culture as easily. But next time I see my aunties, I definitely want to learn the Ta'alunga. My ultimate dream is to choreograph new ballet pieces that integrate Pacific Islander dance and culture. I would also like to be the first world famous Pacific Islander prima ballerina. That would be the ultimate goal for me. 